a skill bite here and this is going to be a video on using the uh, CRC GDI IVD intake valve and turbo cleaner on a 2016 Mazda CX-9. We started having throttle response issues around 37,000 miles. You'd give it some gas and it would set there and then you know you'd have to kind of give it some extra gas to get it to actually go and then of course it would jump forward you know it, it, so anyway it's throttle response when you push down the throttle you should have a nice generally linear response and we did not have that and that it started fairly suddenly carbon deposits on the intake valves or it may just be the throttle body it's hard to say but this should address either one the way we're going to do it. Now let me say that this video is for entertainment purposes only and this is how I am doing it. Be sure to read the instructions on the back of the can. Make sure it is safe for your vehicle and that you do it according to their instructions. Be sure to follow their instructions on how to do it and you shouldn't have any issues. A lot of people have used this. So, step one is to warm the engine. I recommend driving it for about 20 minutes and actually driving it, don't just let it idle, drive it, get it good and warm. The location for spraying this stuff in, there's a couple ways you can do it. The way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna actually spray it in right through right here at the uh, intake on the far side of the mass airflow sensor do not spray it on your mass airflow sensor or you'll be buying a new one this goes back here through the turbo down to the bottom through the intercooler back up and eventually through the throttle body, which is down there. The other way of doing it is to use a vacuum line and it mentions the brake booster, but the brake booster on this thing is buried and I couldn't be sure that I was getting a proper line. So this is the way we're gonna do it. And by the way, again, I'm not sure if it's throttle body or carbon deposits on the intake valves but that's your throttle body good luck cleaning that I'm sure you can do it but it's a little more a little more difficult than just using this uh, cleaner so before we start some basic directions again read them off the can but the can you don't want it sideways when you spray it you want it in a vertical position so either the can top up like so or upside down. The engine, when you're spraying it, you'll want the engine on. Again, make sure it's good and hot. And then you'll want the engine on. You're going to spray it in bursts. I highly suggest a second person that will tr try to keep the engine around 2000 RPM. Every time you spray a little burst, as it goes through the system, the engine's going to want to stall. That's why I suggest having a uh, second person keep it at 2,000 RPM. Don't let it stall or let the engine die, and don't over rev it at uh, 3,500 RPM is what they say is uh, don't go over. Then once you've emptied the can, you will rev the engine two to three times to 3,000 RPM. Let it idle for one minute, then turn it off. And you're gonna let it heat soak for an hour. That's where it, the chemicals try to break down that, the carbon deposits. Then you're gonna drive it for 10 minutes at freeway speeds. So that's what you do. All right, let's see how it works. Rev it to 2,000, try to keep it around 2,000. Now 
All right, short burst. See how it wanting to die? Hopefully it's picking up that it's trying to die and just having to give it some gas to keep it going. You good? Alright, this is going to take a while. Alright, it's about empty. Thousand one. Thousand one. Thousand one. Yeah, it's been a, it's taken a while. Alright. Yeah, that's mostly empty. So rev it up two to three times, rev it up to thirty five hundred and then drop it down, let it drop down. And actually 3,000. Okay, let it idle. So we're gonna let it idle for a minute. I will tighten that down again. Then we're gonna let it set for one hour and it'll heat soak. And we're back. Let it heat soak for an hour, about an hour, and then took it out on the interstate. I actually drove it, uh, it says uh, at least 10 minutes. I drove it for a good 20 plus, and just to make sure everything was good. So the throttle response has been restored to how, what it should be. There's no more of the kind of the hesitation and stuff when you give it gas. It's back like it was. That's great news. I did not have the issue. So I have done this before on another car and it went into, while driving it, went into fail safe mode. That's when your dash lights, I forget which lights come on, but several of your dash lights come on and you'll have lost a lot of power and that happens when the computer picks up that something isn't right. I'm sure what that is, is the carbon deposits bro breaking up and coming through the combustion and out the exhaust. It's probably enough to set that off. I did not have that on this one. I don't know if there were intake carbon deposits or not. It's got 37,000 some miles. So I wouldn't be surprised if it had some, but again, that never went off. The throttle body, this also, because it's in the path, would have cleaned the throttle body and the turbo. I don't think the turbo would have had anything to do with it, but theoretically the throttle body could have been dirty, whatever. It resolved my issue. So very happy about that. If your car should go into fail safe mode, don't panic. You're gonna lose some power. I was going uphill on one and it went into fail safe mode. It was a steep hill. Could not even, you know, could barely do 60. That's all right, don't panic. Just pull off onto the shoulder safely. Turn the car off. That's gonna reset it and then turn it back on. It should come back on just normal. Your fail safe mode should be cleared. The computer should pick up that everything is running correctly and you should be golden. It may or may not have thrown a code. Mine did not, so I didn't have to reset any codes. Like the check engine light was not, did not come back on, nothing like that. If it does, you will want to read the codes, but I've not heard of anyone having that issue. I hope this was helpful. If so, please like, subscribe, comment. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I will answer if I can, or maybe someone else that is seeing it will be able to answer it for you. Good luck with yours.